Anyways, we have nine super pie, pink shirt guy. I just the first oh man, I'm so bad with some players sometimes, man, because there's a lot of the, the crazy thing about online is uh, <laughs> Cal see see I feel like this name would be like Jake Belvin's like what I can't remember his why am I so bad today? Ninja Tyler Belvins. I feel like that that name I'm seeing here kind of reminds me of that. But the point is, the crazy thing about online is just all the new players that I never know about that I finally get to see, and it's just crazy how how that continues to grow every week for me particularly. But for some players, man, like if you're definitely an average streamer or just somebody a constant watcher of anybody's content or just tournaments, you guys would probably know this name off the right right off the bat easily. All right, we're gonna set off this first match in PS2, and we've got Knight Super Pi as the Wario and Pink Shirt Guy with a Min Min. Yeah, honestly, look, on paper, I would tell this Wario this is a losing matchup. Like Knight Super Pi has so much to work against, right? Min Min is a character that it is a social distance character, six feet away from you at all times, and Min Min wins. The thing is, though, is just the same way Belmonts could be a really strong character and also a very weak character. Min Min suffers in that same regard. So once Nine Super Pi gets that one hit, that one nair that you're seeing Nine Super Pi looking for, that a bit that opening, you want to take that opening and run a mile because you have to make sure you're pushing Min Min off the stage. Her recovery is good, but it ain't that great. Like it suffers in terms of a slight range difference, where like the angle isn't as graceful as like say Joker's or Violet's recovery with Tether. Yeah. All right. Well, right now. Nine Super Pi isn't looking too good right now, but he is getting Pink Shirt Guy up a, f uh, a few pr damage. It's, oh, he he had him. He missed right there. Oh, Nysa using the <clears throat> the neutral B right there. Oh no, getting hit by that heavy arm though. Yeah, the, basically when you well, you have to watch yourself because when you get hit by specifically any of Min Min's arms, the properties change, right? Like we got Ram Ram, which is able to cover like a more aerial angle. So if Nine Super Pi at the ledge tries to go for a jump, Ram Ram can cover that. But the thing about Megawa Arm is just his base knockback and shield damage. You have to really respect it. What a quick change up from Henry. See the fact that Nine Super Pi is at such a distance. Like you could just go for that Mega Wall arm already, and you know you have Wario on the back foot right away. Dang! Oh, he he almost had that stock close out, but it looks like not, Nine Super Pi is gonna try to c c come in pretty on the high part, but he was able to get back on stage using that back air to get back. Oh, and he's got a full charge waft. Let's see if he tries to use that for this stock or next stock. Mm -hmm. If he closes out this one, he could try to get a combo for the next stock and close it out fast. Closing it nice. out fast indeed. Yeah. Oh. Good use of the upbeat to protect the ledge right there. Now that he's got that fully charged waft, he should be able to use it if he gets a combo to get a pink shirt guy at a high enough percent and use that waft at the very end. Oh, but using that up smash out of shield is going to end 9 Super Pi's second stock right there. Right, Nine Super Pi is trying to use his air dodges to get back to stage. Right, he still has that fully charged waft because it lasts all the whole match, even if he dies, which is pretty useful. Nice neutral air to back air. Another neutral air whiffing the back air though. Yeah, and the, we talked about how like once you make that hit, you want to make sure you run a mile. Like the pressure you you put put on Min Min can be has to be great. It can't be less than anything else than that. Because if not, you're gonna be on the receiving end. You gotta watch out with the bike. Yep, that's good coverage there because that second swing right there with Megawatt is gonna put Wara at such a tough spot here. 128. I wanna say, look, my Super Pie is on the sticks. I'm not the one holding it, but this is gonna be a change up to be better for something like uh, Weefa Trader because I'm not digging. I, I like the Wario as a first start, but as a whole, you gotta go. You gotta go to that Weefa Trader, bro. You, got, you wanna have your best foot forward, honestly. Yeah, I mean, that good catch from Pink Shirt Guy using that shield and uh, taking advantage of that landing lag to catch him with the uh, with the up smash to finish, to close out to close out his last stock. Yeah, I'm doing some things, some some pretty cool things in the background for people. So a part a part in the uh, the clicky keyboard there. 
<laughs> Yo, yeah. what is up? What is up, Skiff? No, I love you, Skiff. You know why? Because sometimes I, I, I think about the energy that the ha- that the Smash community, I would love to hear sometimes. And it's like you're the best of both worlds. You not only have that freshness value, like a really great, like honestly, like that fresh, fresh, like, man, I ordered a delicious meal. But like you have on top of that energy, it, it, it's good all around, bro. You you keep you keep doing you, bro. You keep doing you. Skiff is definitely, even if it's not in his name, Skiff will always remain wonderful. And let's see if Pinkshirt Guy will remain wonderful here. Because remember, Pinkshirt Guy was the one who won the first game here, which I am now updating the score. <laughs> Alright, well, with Nine Super 5 switching over to Wii Fit Trainer, he will be able to use that deep breathing to his advantage. Like from last time I commentated, deep breathing was kind of a big thing that uh, was like a life or death situation. Uh, with, uh, I believe it was. We, uh, we saw, it, so, it we saw a... so many players, too. We even saw a Wii Fit Ditto. Remember that? I don't think I was there. Okay, okay. Well, I know we had a Wii Fit Ditto. That's, that's all I know for sure. But yeah, deep breathing and and, and sun salutation in, in tangent with one another is just a really powerful toolkit altogether. And it changes Wii Fit Trainer's properties. So you have to really be on your guard about how often Wii Fit Trainer goes for that. But you can already see how different the matchup is between Pink Shirt Guy and Nine Super Pie now. Because Nine Super Pie is definitely feeling the aggression from Pink Shirt Guy as opposed to how it was against Wario. One thing that Nine Super Pie, oh, good job closing out that first stock. But as I was saying, that one one thing that uh, We Fit Trainer has that Nine Super Pie can now take advantage of is uh, ranged options, which is something that Wario lacked in. So if he's able to use his uh his neutral B and his side B to uh, do some damage, even if he's far away, and yep. then afterwards he uh, he can pressure his shield and possibly get a grab for a combo. And honestly. The one thing I have to say, oh yeah, what a great way to just go off the stage there with Megawatt Arm. But like you said, you, you're you lacking range with Wario, but also consistent. I would say slightly more, you get more consistent, I don't want to say consistent knockback, but I would say you get a, a buff. And having buffs in this game, specifically with anything that you do, like look at Joker, look at look at Sephiroth, even Min Min. Like those, those arms get a buff from just being used because she gets the laser as a whole. Or she can, and, and that laser gets buffed over time. So if you're able to buff yourself, heal yourself at the same time, while also improving your knockback and damage, and having some solid projectiles, and having a, set, a soft spike like that, man, why not go this character first? And that's what I'm saying. Like the war, it's not that I'm saying the war was horrible. It's that you want to put your best foot forward against a character like Min Min. Yeah, but for that moment right there, Pink Shirt Guy had that. Uh... He had the stage control, but now it looks like the, that stage control is going over to 9 Super Pie. Oh, mm. nice catching him with the side tilt, too. And the, thing, yeah, and the thing about that right there on the forward tilt is, man, it's double angled. It's literally two sides, man. It's like it's, I have no reference for how double sided that forward tilt is, but God, getting hit by that forward tilt sometimes can be pretty, pretty rough because it covers literally the, the get up, the roll get up neutral get up even if you're just poking shield like there's a lot of option coverage you're getting just from perfectly spacing your forward tilt but also like we, we know we fight trainers all most of we fit trainers hands if not all are double-sided i'm looking at chat right now and i see strides putting blink twice if you're in danger you can't see skiff <laughs> you can't see his eyes you can only read his words well, here's the thing. You never know. Maybe Strides maybe like peeking through the window and see and looking at his eyes if they blink twice. Yeah. So this is winter semi, so it's going to be a three out of five, correct? Yep. This is going to be best of five here. Problem that I'm seeing now. Nine Super Pie back on the Wario. You got the W with... The Wii Fit Trader, man. Why would you switch up a character you just won with? But look, like I said, only 9 Super Pie knows what 9 Super Pie is doing and thinking. I'm not the one here sitting in the winter semis. That's 9 Super Pie right there. So we'll see what he can do here, especially on a stage that is going to be Battlefield. Uh, like I said, right, once once you hit, once you're Warrior, once you do get in that hit, once you get in that Nair, you want to run a train on Min Min and having these platforms as an extension for what we saw just right now can be potentially pretty big in terms of damage. Yeah, nice use of that up air to forward air and another forward air right there. He also tried to use that side tilt. 
All right, trying to get, he's got to get back to stage here. Good use right there of getting, of quickly getting back to stage uh, right before getting hit by that side special. Yeah. All right. All right. That nine super pie, it's pretty even right now, but I mean, nine super pie, he's just got to do, as you said, continuously pressure pink shirt guy if he wants to win and get those combos off and continuously deal damage. Yeah, and, and that's kind of like the situation. A character that plays well with range can be pressured strong enough that you have to be able to understand, like, okay, cool. Yes, they play at a range. Yes, they win at a range. But the but the balance in this game and in most fighting games is that they lose at a close range. So 9 Super Pie has to keep things close here. And it, the less, like I said, once you get the hit, bro, you're running that mile as fast as possible. There is that back air after that missed. Ram Ram there. It's going to be a forward throw from 9 Super Pie. Just try to get some arms in. But I like that it's only one swing and not the other. All right, now that uh, pink shirt guy got that grab off now, that will be able to empower that left arm more. Oh, shoot, using that waft, it wasn't even a full charge one either. I don't think it was. But that that killed, wow. Good use of the combo to a waft right there to quickly end up that stock. Up air to up till another up air, wow. Another one, and another, wow, he's just juggling. He's like, I'm gonna turn you into a ball and I'm gonna juggle you, my guy. Yeah, you gotta look at this person. You gotta look at Wario. You gotta look at this, your opponent like a beach ball. How far can you throw that beach ball around, honestly? Uh, no tech and nine super pie moving up 2 1. What a play right there off the stage. I talked about it, man. You're gonna wanna wanna train. And this train is definitely taking off. I apologize for being corny, man, because it do be Monday. <laughs> it do be Monday. All right, let's see what I can get here. I'm I, I'm trying to help out my good my friend Mui Guapo and keep my promises. <laughs> so I'm in the middle of trying to do something here. <laughs> right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm an idiot. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Hold on. I'm gonna try. I'm trying He's, to do this the right way. You switched back to the Wii Fit trainer, but. Maybe he's look. just keeping his opponent on check, bro. Sometimes the best mix up is the mix up that your opponent never thinks about. And you switching yeah. characters can be one of those things. There it uh, is! Yeah, that's a uh, really good information there for uh, any player, any new players out there that are, you know, maybe looking. This, this game is mostly mental, so. You got to try to get into your opponent's head and make them panic. So it causes them to not to play uh, to their full, to not play it to their full extent. Mm -hmm. All right, right now, nine super five, bringing sh pink shirt guy to 105 already. He's bait. It looks like he's just trying to bait him and keep him, uh, keep him away. Or as you can see, you saw him teabag uh, not too long ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's when you know you're feeling it too. Is when you get that tea bag in. You know, you have, you know you have a dedicated tom button, but that's how you know you're feeling the Wi-Fi. You actually go for the tea bag. Uh, nonetheless, here, pink shirt guy looking to just survive here. Great down tilt to immediately for the ram ram there. Once again, that's going to be good pressure, getting both hits of the arms in. He's got Wi-Fi Trader off the stage. Yeah, great coverage, great way to go for gentleman jab there, just specifically because you can call out spot dodge, which is usually the common option to escape from being at the legend of one most damage. Yeah, really, oh, good, really no. good information there that you just spoke. But getting back to the match, using that up air. Oh, missing that. Uh, I believe that was a air that he missed, but he was able to get pink shirt guy off stage using that neutral, uh, that neutral special. Trying to get deep breathing in, but it was too slow at the moment and messed it up in mid air. Yeah. Getting back to stage using that jump get up and another nail, another nair to an up air. Wow. All right, good for Henry. Look at, sorry, I look at this tag, bro. But like, pink, anyways, good for pink shirt guy because that up B, you can use that to actually pressure your opponents for high recoveries. You could use that against characters like Snake and Wii Fit Train here, but unfortunately, like in a situation in a perfect world, pink shirt guy would have gotten the stock off here. But it's nine super pile holding three stocks in the hand, bro. If this were a free for all, this guy would have lost the stock already like two stocks ago. But 
We'll see if Pink Shigai can turn the Jets up here. He does get that Megawatt Nair, which is big here because he turns that two stocks to one here. But honestly, you're still at a deficit. So it's going to be up to Pink Shigai to just keep on the pressure. And you can see the change up in aggression now because that's what Pink Shigai is looking for is to come back and slowly start up the aggression because you can tell that Nine Super Pi is taking advantage of that. Yeah, I mean, as you were, uh, as you were saying, if he uses that advantage, he'll be able to get enough damage to win the match. But right now, it looks like Pink Shirt guys he has stage control. But yeah, Nine Super Pi is struggling to get back to stage. Ooh, mm -hmm. I feel like they should have gone for ledge there at the same time. Ooh, Pink yeah, he's really good at protecting the ledge. I was gonna say you're right. You should have gone, should have gone for the ledge there too. But I kind of want to see Pink Shirt guys stay on the stage here. You do have the arms to make that reach, but also holding the stage at this point in time right now is much more important than going off stage and potentially getting reversals for it because that's the way that a character like Weefa Trader can do. 86% here on that 17 to 22 now here. Look, Pink Shirt guy, he's looking to turn in the homework and maybe, maybe turning in the homework late. But the point is, is the work is getting done here, and he's looking to kind of bring this up to probably game five. I spoke wrong. I am a liar. Nice super pie on that read. Man, what an up smash at that end. Man, he didn't turn in that homework at all. He got an F. Yeah. Oh.